Well, understandably, they're the talk of the island, the number two Yukon Huskies, the nightcap against Ole Miss on this Thanksgiving Thursday. Yukon just came off a 38 point win against Vanderbilt. Another team out of the SEC, Ole Miss wins the opening tap. Won their divisions in 2007 and 2012. Shot at the elbow, no problem for Nafisa Collier. All Sun Belt at UT Arlington, but experienced player. He's got a scores mentality. Into the post, easy underneath move for Megan Walker. Against the zone, and UConn faces many zones. Forcing a turnover here against that press. Crystal Dangerfield back to Katie Lou Samuelson. Well. <laughs> Back to the left elbow, a two in and out, and picked back up by Williams underneath after the call you're missed. Nothing the defender can do. Katie Lou Samuelson straightaway three in and out. It bounces out off the foot of Walker, out towards Collier, and Collier splashes a three from the corner. Not rotate on the strong side of the ball. The Huskies very methodical on offense, goes to Collier from point blank, easy bucket. Played the second and third side. Found the middle. That's a four-star recruit via ESPN. Katie Lou Samuelson, three. Collier going to work in the post. Pretty post move. And he's just used five players. He's still playing the starting five. Collier across the lane, already into double figures. Bounces up high. That was one that was a little early. Now Williams throwing down to Katie Lou Samuelson. Dangerous one open for three. Season nation leading 47.5% from three for Katie Lou Samuelson. Already has a pair in the opening quarter. UConn leads 23 to nine. Double double last time out against Western Michigan. 13 points, 12 rebounds. Pretty jumper, rainbow arc for Crystal Dangerfield. Easier knowing <laughs> that you're gonna go to the WNBA. A three point shot. Either. Well, Crystal Dangerfield. That is a deep, deep ball. The long rebounds allow the Huskies just to come out running. Well, they're 5 of 21 or 5 of 22 now from the field. Allen ran to the wing with Smith. Katie Lou Samuelson trying to save it back middle of the floor does. A run out here for Williams and the easy lay in. Williams left open on the wing. Three pointer for Christian Williams. Dangerfield letting the clock tick. Sets up at the elbow and drives, puts up the shot off the window. With her team. Williams back over to Samuelson. Unselfish pass into the corner. Dangerfield off the mark with a three, but Walker grabs an offensive rebound. Well, the offense is working for Ole Miss. They're getting good looks, just not converting. What's the patience in the ball reversal? Find the gap, drive it. And banked in. <laughs> Kristen Williams looks back at her bench like, not exactly how I drew it up, but all right. Now, this is the gal played in the National Junior College title game. Underneath the basket, I'm at the move by Megan Walker. That's amazing. This for a team that's this young, new coach, the teeth of the beast. And a lot of Ole Miss buckets have come that way. Pretty passing, the lead from Dangerfield down to Walker. See what happened. Didn't get back, get, didn't get the ball stopped. And there's the dish and the bucket. We started this as mm -hmm. Ole Miss's challenge for SEC titles. Now on the other end in the white, they have the culture. Right. And they both have the attention of their teams just so locked in when they talk. I mean, both of these teams really respect their coaches. I watched that UConn practice yesterday. It was a, Coach Yole doesn't get upset for me saying this, but she threw a player out of practice yesterday for not getting into a drill quick enough. This ankle, I said, never. He's, and the doctor responds, I've never seen an ankle with so much calcium deposits <laughs> as yours. Minutes, because you got to get the growth. Collier sending it back out to Olivia Nelson at Dota. Going to be the best they can be every day. Uh, he has done, set the gold standard in college basketball. Really good defensively. We saw that tonight. 
pack line defense. Collier wow. fade away, yeah. And from the training camp, ended up going to France with the team. In the championships in the Canary Islands, she didn't get to join the team there. It was cut right before they went to the Canary Islands. He makes for the Rebels. Well, Mimi reads from the Bronx. That's a tough gal. She grew up playing with a guy's team on the playgrounds. <laughs> about the Ole Miss stays in the zone. That's great to see going forward <clears throat> in the tournament as well for the Rebels. Bucket fired in by Batula or by Irwin. Comes back to Bent over to the wing. Bent right to the high post and bucket in by Batuli Kamara. Okay, okay, here's what we ran against UConn. Our clock play late in the game. You get in a situation where they needed to win a game. They've got some experience. Hey, see if they run offensive play off of it and Coach Hill shaking her head no. So that will be the end of this one in St. Thomas. 90 to 50 for UConn.